Hey Scorpios, what's going on family? Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. What's going on family? Peace, love, and light to you guys. So, alright guys, so we're going to see what's coming towards you guys in love. We're going to see who's the new person. I know that most of the readings, the past person keeps coming up, right? So we're going to see who's this new person that's coming towards you. What can you expect? Let's see what's going on, okay? All right, guys, so let's see what's going on in love. Let's talk about the new person. Let's see who's this new person that's coming towards Scorpio's Holy Spirit. What can they expect? Tell us about the new person. And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio single family. Keep in mind, guys, this is general, okay? So... If you would like a personal reading on your own unique situation, all of my information is down in my description box, okay? I want to call in Archangel Gabriel to protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, I ask that you bind that back. Return back to sender in Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen and amen. All right, so Tempress is in the reverse. Very first card, okay? Sagittarius energy. All right, let me get one more. All right, so we have the Sun card, Leo energy, and we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. All right, so when it comes to your new person, hmm, back of the deck, King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. Okay, guys, so... <sighs> this person may be a drinker. This person energy is kind of imbalanced. I don't know. It seems like you're not going to feel comfortable with this person. And you're going to quickly realize that with the sun card. Something is going to come to the light. You're going to have a big realization. And you may end up turning your back against this person. What I see on the back of the deck, King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. This may be someone that may not put in the effort like you want them to. This person may come off as a liar. Maybe disrespectful towards you when they talk to you. You may end up cutting this person off. Oh, Lord. Scorpio, I'm trying. <laughs> Spirit, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Tell us about the new person. This person could be a Leo or Sagittarius. Tell us about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Thank you. We have the Hangman and the Seven of Cups. Pisces energy, Scorpio energy with the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Give me one more. Tell us about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. I feel like some type of reality is going to set in about this person. I also feel as though you're going to end up releasing and letting this person go because you know your value, you know your worth, honey. As I always say, Queen of Wands, this is you guys. You know that you that girl, you that guy. You got too much to give. You're powerful. And you you it's kind of like the energy of, I know who I am, honey. You're not going to make me an option. You're going to end up releasing and letting this person go. Yep, this is going to be your final decision. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Tell me more about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Show me what I need to see. The new person that's coming towards Scorpio. All right, so we have the chariot. This could be a cancer. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about the new person for Scorpio. All right, so we have the two of wands. All right, give me a final card for this group. Oh, Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Tell us about the new person. Tell us about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Thank you. Oh, Lord, Scorpio. I'm trying, y'all. The Knight of Wands. Child. You may end up moving on because you feel like the grass is green. <laughs> the grass is green on the other side. You're going to end up leaving this person behind because you're going to feel like they're too inconsistent. Playboy, playgirl type of energy. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah, but this cycle, whatever this is, this chapter, this was something that you needed to learn from. Whoever this person is, they may just come towards you for sexual reasons. You may end up turning them down. It, you don't want this. Yeah, you're, you're going to end up walking away 
you're not going to want to reconcile with this person. Well, they're going to feel like you guys have unfinished business. Mm -hmm. The tower. And then we have the knight of swords and then the page of wands. So it's like... This person is going to come towards you. I, Scorpio, I'm being honest with you. It's going to be some type of upheaval, some type of drama. Something's going to blow up. It, it seems as though this person, it's like they're angry, they're mad because maybe you found out something or maybe to the fact that you don't want to deal with them, don't want to go out on a date with them. But see, they're doing this. They're coming towards you because they feel like you guys have unfinished business. They're wanting to talk, have a conversation. Lord Jesus. Oh, wow. Tell me about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly a Cancer, Leo, or Pisces. But see, let me tell you something what I see here. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So, for one, you guys are not even on the same page. You're a grown, grown man or grown, grown woman. This person has still got some grown ups to do. They still want to play around. Deal with you, deal with other people. That's why that seven of cups here. You're like, no, ma'am, no, sir. You're not going to make me one of your options that you just have sex with or you play around with. I'm not I'm not here for that. I'm a grown woman. Tell me more. Tell me about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Eight of, <laughs> Eight of pentacles. Ugh, you may not want to even put any work into this. Tell me more. The new person that's coming towards Scorpio. This person may not even have a job. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Holy Spirit, tell me more. What's, tell me about the new person. What can Scorpio expect from the new person? Tell me about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, see, it's kind of like either this person don't have a job or... You feel like what they are from you is like little girl, little boy type of energy. When you're a grown man, grown woman. What is this? See what I'm saying? You're a grown woman. See what I'm saying? See, you coming out is very mature. This person, all they got to offer you is this little page. This little small pentacle when you're coming out as the queen of pentacles. See, some of you guys are mothers. Mothers, fathers. You have businesses. You have goals, dreams, careers. See what I'm saying? The emperor in the reverse. This person don't have what it takes to hold you down. This is not a divine masculine energy. This person don't have any type of self-discipline. I guess not. They're in the Knight of Wands energy, Page of Pentacles energy. Like, this person still has some growing up to do. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag person. See, this person's not ready for you. See, you're ready to be married. You're ready to be committed, settle down, have a family. This person's not ready for that. They're not logical. This person could be an absent father. This person could have abandoned their own children or something like that. This person's not ready to be committed. Mm -hmm. This is going to make you very unhappy. Page of Pentacles, excuse me, Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. See, they want an opportunity with you, but you're like, mm, I don't know about you. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should give you a chance. I feel like you're going to make your final decision. Yeah. Tell me more about the new person. Let's hope something positive come out. Because see, what I notice is Queen of Pentacles is looking down. You're like, child, you're not paying this little boy, little girl, no attention. You're not going to want to work something out. Tell me more about the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Queen of Wands. Excuse me, Queen of um, Swords in the reverse. Pa <laughs> Page of Swords in the reverse. See what I'm... Guys, you, do you see the pattern here? Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords... Queen of Swords in reverse. See what I'm saying? You guys are not on the same page. You're not. See, you're coming out as a grown man, grown woman type of energy. But with this Queen of Swords, this person may have someone else in the background. This is like a third party energy. This, for, this can also be this person's energy where they don't know how to set boundaries. They're not mature. They don't know how to make the right decisions. Bitter Betty, Bitter Bob type of energy. But this person is stalking and watching you. Yeah. But see, you're not fighting for 
this relationship or to be with this person anymore. You're like, I'm not about to be in competition. Are you crazy? I don't do competition. I am a queen. Four of Wands. Tell me more for the new person that's coming towards Scorpio. Yeah, it's kind of like they're watching you on social media or something and they're a little bitter. Hmm. We have the Eight of Wands here. This person wants to have a conversation with you. Give me the final card here for the new person. Two of Swords. Hmm, what's at the bottom? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you, you got grown woman, grown man energy going on here. See, you have a home. You know, you want something that's going to be long lasting, a marriage, the end of, a relationship that ends up to marriage or some type of engagement. You want something long term. And I feel like you're going to tell this person that and you're going to have your mind made up. This is what you want. You're not settling for less. Yeah. You want someone that you can invest into. They invest into you. You want to be able to reap the benefits of what you sow in. But see, this person is not going to give you an equal give and take. This is going to be end up a one sided relationship. Yeah. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's kind of like you'll be putting more into this situation than they are. They don't they're gonna give you half ass. And you've already been through enough shit in your past. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You're trying to come out of any type of pain, you know. I feel like you're gonna heal from this a little quicker. You're pulling those swords out of your back little by little, day by day. Wow. Feeling like the worst is over with. Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. See, this person's going to tell you they want to be with you. And that they have some kind of guilt, remorse, or regret. They can't get you out of their mind. They think about you day in and day out. And they're wanting to bring you an offer to make things right. Yeah. Ten of Wands here and the Page of Cups. But the thing is, you want to release this person because you feel like they're too childish. They're too immature. So you're freeing yourself from this person because you feel like they're not putting the work in. And you're cutting the ass off because you feel like this person's too sneaky, too deceptive. They could have lied to you, maybe two-faced it, and you're rejecting them. But I told you, this person want to come rushing in because now their little heart is broken. They want to talk. Their heart is broken here. They're tired of being in separation from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, see, you don't want to deal with them. You don't want to go out. You don't want to take this date offer. You're like, what is the point? You know, I don't feel anything for you. I don't feel like we can have a new patch to beginning at all. Wow. Yep. Yeah, you're going to end up leaving the ass right out in the cold because you don't feel like they're marriage material. Possibly that. Sorry, guys. My phone cut out, but it's okay. But basically, you're going to end up leaving this person out in the cold because you feel like they have nothing to offer you. You don't feel like we need to be together. I don't need to do anything with you. And you're going to feel like, you know, I bet it's best for me to leave you out in the cold. I have, you have nothing to offer me. You're not even marriage material. I can't trust you. You haven't shown me that you're ready for any type of commitment. Yeah. I see this person is going to want to take action towards you. They feel like, you know, hey, damn, let me grow up from this knight of wands into this king of wands. Let me show the collective that I can be very mature. I can be a leader. This person going to end up coming back to you and ask you for some type of forgiveness. Yeah, three of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. This person may end up getting rid of third parties. Yeah, they may end up getting rid of third parties because they may be going through karma. They may receive some type of karma for not being the man, being the woman that they need to be to you. They're going to want to come back towards you, ask you for forgiveness, hoping that you guys can reconcile. Yeah, but see, the thing is, they see you as in the future being a mother of their child or... You know, your energy is just so loving, so giving, so kind. You're the empress. You are starseed. Little do they know, you know, you are blessed and highly favored, the empress. Yeah. Ten of cups and the seven of wands. This person may end up giving up or you may end up giving up on this person because you're going to feel like it's nothing we can do together. You know, I thought we could have had something, but I thought you would, would have been the true love of my life. But this is not going to work. Yeah, because see, what you want is something stable long-term, and you're standing on that. You made your decision. I want something long-term. I want to build a legacy. I want a family. I want marriage. You're going with your intuition. Your intuition is kind of telling you that this person may be a little cold-hearted, maybe that their intuition is kind of blocked off. 
your intuition could also be telling you to not pour yourself into this person as well this is going to leave this person all up in their head yeah because you feel as though you guys are not equally yoked there's nothing this person can offer you you lost faith and hope and you're very unsatisfied yeah wow ace of pentacles and the two of pentacles See, you want you want something from God that's a blessing. And I'm also getting that this person is possibly going to want a second chance with you. But you're kind of wishy-washy. You don't know. You have your feelings and emotion kind of closed off to them. You're pouring this love back into yourself. And you're manifesting for something better to come into your life. Yeah. Yeah, so... This new person, it's like they're going to keep trying because they see your value, they see your worth, but see, they didn't realize they were walking into a grown woman, a grown man type of energy. They wasn't ready for that. Or they won't be ready for that, you know? All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.